All right guys, so I bought a little car hauling trailer and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show everybody kind of what you need to do or what you maybe should do if you buy a used trailer. Let me show it to you. So here it is. It's a 16 foot car hauling trailer uh, with a dovetail, but 16 foot total. I'd rather have an 18 feet, uh, 18 foot trailer, but this will have to do. It, it was a decent price for what it is. It has one set of brakes on one of the axles. I, I don't remember which one. Things we need to get fixed up is like the wheel bearings need to be greased and stuff like that. Brakes need to be checked out. These fenders are beat all to crap. And look here, they're loose and floppy too. I'm going to show you what we're going to do about that. The wiring and lights always have to be fixed on a trailer when you buy them, always. That jack right there is bent over as you can see. So let's get into the shop and get started on some of these repairs. The first thing I want to do is tackle the wiring. And wiring on trailers is always a joke. Just like this. This is like a, I don't know, four prong. It's supposed to be a seven. It's got brakes. And always this right here. Either just taped up or butt connector garbage or whatever, you know. So let's look back here in the back. Brand new lights and wiring, the guy said. And I guess it is. But, again, we got the taped up garbage mess. Which I don't like because weather, moisture, everything gets in there. So we'll cut that and solder it together and heat shrink it. And so here's the other side and it's not a big deal. I just don't like it like that. There's wires hanging down underneath it, of course, that I have to go through. And I need to find the brake wire because it's just non-existent. And look here, boys. Look at here. I believe we'll have another giveaway for another license plate. Let's do that. That'll be fun. So I bought a new seven blade connector and when you buy it, it tells what wires go where, see? If you need that information, you can pause this video right now. My wiring is different than that little paper. I'm a little confused to be honest, but, and I've always done it this way anyways, is the right, the right light if you're in the back of the trailer, to my right, it's going to be green, and the brown's going to be the tail light, and the left is going to be yellow, and the brown's the tail light. So I don't know, that's how I'm going to wire it up. And then we'll hook the brake up. So I crawled under there and checked all the wiring out, and it looks okay. Nothing's rubbing the frame or anything like that, so. White's always ground, or should be. Green should be right turn. So let's hook it up and check it out. Yellow wire, left turn. Brown wires should be the tail lights, and I could just, those can be put together. They're going to be eventually anyways. So yeah, this step right here probably should have been done before I tested it, but I maybe got a little overzealous. Got in a little bit of a hurry. Don't judge me, guys. Don't judge me. And there you have it. The typical, typical trailer wiring right there. Sweet. So this is how I'll fix all the wiring on this trailer, everywhere it needs to be connected. 
And like I said, don't judge me, and I won't judge you. If you want to leave an old crappy butt connector on there, or you just wanted to leave it taped like it was, that's fine with me, guys. I'm going to take these old light brackets off. I actually like these kind of lights, but it had these new ones on it, so we use those. I'll just save these. Isn't that much more pretty? One more thing I'm going to do while I'm here is this wire. I want to get it up in here, tucked away back there. So there it is, and all I did was cut a piece of rubber hose, slipped it over the wires, and zip tied it up against the frame. And I'll do that any place that's, you know, kind of loose. I decided I'd check out the brake wiring and check it out. This is sweet. Red and blue butt connectors. Not only that, but we have four butt connectors. Two here and two here. I, I like that. I like that a lot. This is an old trailer and it has two wires going to the brakes. Normally it's just one big blue wire. I assume they're using one for a ground and one for the power to the brakes. So I'm just going to hook them up. We'll go back there and see if they work. Sparking. Usually you can hear brakes humming. I don't hear them humming. Let's see here. Oh, they locked up, boys. Check that out. Let's go see the other side. Cool. So this side I can feel trying to grab, but it's not working. So we're going to get in there, see what's going on with these brakes, and get them fixed. That one's broke off. This lug nut, these are like, it's broke, this part's broke off of there. I hate these kind of lug nuts, but it is what it is. So you can take a hammer and a little chisel or something, get in there and get these off. I might be able to just wiggle it off of there. Cotter pin. Big nut here. Pretty simple stuff, guys. This isn't too bad on a trailer. A lot of good grease in these. So that's a good sign. Bearings are probably still good. Washer in the bearing, and there's a bearing in the back side. This is just a seal puller. They're cheap. You can get them anywhere. And if you don't have a seal puller, use a screwdriver or whatever it takes to get that out. And there's your other bearing right there. Alright, so the brake linings are about wore out. The inside of the drums are all rusted up. The way these trailer brakes work is this is an electric magnet. And when you engage the magnet through the electricity, when you hit your brake pedal, it grabs to the drum and it'll open the shoes, you know, open up the shoes. And that's how the brakes work. So I think we need to get some new shoes, new springs, and clean up the drum. I'm not going to get a new drum. I'm just going just gonna to get it cleaned up. And I don't know, maybe I can turn it down there at Dave Crawford's. I'm taking apart all four wheels just to see what kind of parts I need. And these brakes are pretty much wore out too. If you don't have brakes on your trailer, this is what your this is what yours will look like. Just like this one. And they come apart the same way, guys. A washer, a bearing, same deal. And you pull this out. Here's a trick for you guys. It works on some, but I don't think it'll work on this one. Sometimes you can put the nut back on. And this one, I believe the nut's too big. But sometimes you can put the nut back on after you take the bearing and washer off. And you can pull this out. And it won't work on this one. But if you smack it, it'll, pull, it'll push the bearing and back seal out. On a lot of vehicles it works, but on a trailer, I don't know. Not working on this one. You want to check all the springs and shackles and stuff on these old trailers. 
you know, for safety, for safety reasons. And I noticed that this piece right here has a lot of play in it, seems like. And this shackle right here has got a little bit of play in it, you know? Which I don't think that's a big deal, but this kind of bugs me. Let's take it apart, see what's going on with it, so that I know what I need to get when I go get parts, so maybe I could just make one trip. All right, so what it has in there is a little plastic bushing that goes over the bolt, which is also wore a little bit. Let's look at these right here too while we're at it. And same deal here, it's got little plastic sleeves in there, uh, but these right here is the issue on this one it's got it's got play in the metal right there after thoroughly investigating all this stuff here I've come to the conclusion that we just need to order a rebuild kit for all these bushings and stuff this equalizer all the bolts and bushings all that stuff with leaf springs and guys it's not a big deal it's like 40 bucks on eBay and I'm sure you can get a better kit, maybe with bronze bushings and grease fittings and all that. But I'm going to go with a cheap one. be good enough for now. Let's talk about the license plate giveaway. And some of you guys already know about this license plate giveaway. And this will be your second opportunity now to win a Kentucky license plate to hang in your den, your shop, your man cave, or whatever it is you, wherever it is you want to hang it. The way this giveaway is going to work is I'm going to have a series of videos on this trailer. Maybe, maybe just two videos, maybe three. So if you hit the like button and you comment on the videos, or one video, it doesn't matter. If I see your comment on there, I'm going to take your name, I'm going to put them all in a hat, I'm going to pull one name out at the end of the series, and whoever's name it is will receive this nice Kentucky license plate free of charge. I will ship it to you free of charge, and you will be the winner of this Kentucky license plate. The last thing I'm going to get finished up today is this connector right here, this seven blade connector. I want to hook it up. And because my wires are different colors than what it says on here, that's no big deal, guys. You just need to know what wire does what. So if the green wire goes to the right turn signal, just look on this diagram for the right turn signal and then hook the green wire to it. It doesn't matter what color this says it needs to be. If you know it's the right wire, then hook it in the right spot on the connector, and then any truck you hook it to, it, it, it'll, it'll work fine. Be sure to clean your ground. I'm actually showing this step because it's that important. And now if you would like, not necessary, but I'm going to put a little diode electric grease right here before I attach my ground the whole point of this really is just I'm trying to stress the point that this ground is very important guys if at this point you want to clean it up a little bit with some brake clean or something and then spray it with a little spray paint so where you cleaned up doesn't rust then do it to it Our plug is all hooked up, and I electric taped it. Some of you will agree with that, some of you won't. And remember, this is a no-judge zone, so if you prefer to do it a different way, please do. And I did back the truck up so I could test out all the wiring. Worked out great. Other options, instead of using electric tape, is this plastic conduit. Some people call it loom, and they make other kinds of loom that you can use whatever you guys prefer it doesn't matter just wrap the wires up that's it for today guys I gotta wait till the parts come in when they come in I'm gonna show you how to assemble all this stuff the proper and right way I also may have ordered some accessories to go on this trailer some cool accessories so stay tuned for that give me a few days it'll probably be Saturday I'll try and upload a video we'll see you then guys